Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. So in today's video, I am going to be adding some more decorative pieces to our primary bedroom or some may still call it master bedroom. So the goal here is to add that gold and to add those pieces I recently shared in a recent haul. So I'm going to be shopping my home. These pieces that I'm about to hang above my bed, I already had, I have four of them. I'm only going to use three just to add some gold to the space because we do have a lot of silver and warm gold going on. I wanted to add a little bit more warm gold to the space to balance the look. I'm also going to be adding some mirrors back to the space. They're going to go above the nightstands. I'm not going to hang them. I'm actually just going to lay them on the nightstand for now. I'm really waiting for my replacement nightstands to come in. If you don't know the story, these did arrive damaged. So the new ones won't come in until I believe May. So I'm just going to finish adding a few more decorative pieces to the space. I did take out some and I'm adding some more. If you didn't see the haul, I'll share that in the description. When I tell you my memory is not what it used to be, so I got on the bed with the hammer. And when I got ready to use it, I couldn't find it. So I started pushing the nails into the wall just so I could mark the place. And lo and behold, there it was, the hammer was behind the pillow. I forgot I even got on the bed with the hammer. And just an FYI, I placed the nail holes 24 inches apart.
I'm going to be keeping the same bed spread on the bed. I'm just going to be changing out the duvet cover. So I already took the duvet off and we're going to put the original duvet set that I purchased for this bedroom. Now here's a little trick that I tend to do. I usually do it in our guest bedroom, but because I'm going to be sharing this on another platform, I wanted the bed to look really full at the end. So what I usually do is fold a duvet or a comforter in half and I don't tuck it. I just let it kind of droop and then I'll put my comforter on top. That kind of makes it where there is a even flow all the way down your bed. Sometimes I even do an extra one. Now in my guest bedroom upstairs, I normally cut that part out when I'm filming, but in this case, this is where I want to just show y'all what some people do behind the scenes to kind of make their bed look a little more fuller. So this is definitely something you can do in a guest bedroom that no one sleeps in and you want it to stay put together all the time. In this case, I'll be taking it off because that's a little bit too heavy for my husband and I. I've had quite a few people ask me, am I going to change out my tall chest? The answer is no. I absolutely love this chest. I purchased it from Haverty's. If I did change it, I would definitely go with something other than the bedroom group for my, my dresser and nightstand. And although my dresser and nightstand looks really close to my bed, it is not a set. I do like mix matching furniture pieces. If you ever see this candle in Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, wherever, I suggest getting it. This candle smells amazing. I think I paid $14.99 for it. It's a three wick candle and it's in a decorative vase. Beautiful and it smells good. This is one of my favorite pieces. I pay $60 at Home Goods. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to add some greenery to it just on one side, just to add a little color to the dresser. So I wanted to add something to this little space and I chose something I already had. It's not giving me the look I want. I knew that before I even put the nail hole in the wall, but I wanted something here. That light switch is really throwing this little space off, but I'm just going to put it here for now and I may change it later on in the year. 
And as you can see here, I'm using my oh so famous tape hanging method. My fingernails will not let me be great. So the method I use to hang those metal pieces above my bed, pressing the nail really hard in the wall came in handy in this case because I could not grip these small nails and use the hammer at the same time. So I pressed them real hard and then I came back and hammered them in place. The art is level, but it's a little high and I'm okay with it. So here's the final look of the space. All right, everyone, we are coming to the end of this video. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.